at Honey and Go for lunch. What day is it? I lost track. Monday, Tuesday. Um, we're gonna actually go over to Bye Bye Baby and check out some things. And we'll show you guys an update actually of what the nursery is looking like today. But we're gonna eat first. We do want to look at um, the strollers again, right? I was just saying to Anthony that we got this thing, like one of these, I don't know what you call them, play mat, tummy time thing. We got one of the elephant ones, but it's like grayish blue. $49 here. We got it for $10 at Home Goods. Gotta check your local Home Goods. Actually, no, it was TJ Maxx. I was wrong, but same kind of thing. So much cheaper. You and your crippled arm. They have more out here too. What's this for? Maybe to oh. release. Yep, put that in. We're looking at strollers and car seats, and we, of course, love the Up Baby Vista because it's top of the line. It's really nice, and the Mesa is like one of the top rated car seats. But the Maxi Cozy also has a similar look to it. Jeez. You can tell when my husband sneezes. I heard that from across the way. I like that shirt. Yeah, that sounds nice. This is the one we liked. Is it? No, it's that's not. not. I like it. Me too. I like just the tuft like style of it, but definitely more expensive. Yeah, twice same. The price. Yeah, it's the same brand as the other. Literally. Twice I wonder the price. if they will have other chairs kind of just laying around. Throwback. Oh, I like this blanket. Oh, babe, this was the mobile that I liked. He's probably not gonna like that. How do you like that price tag, though? That's well, it. I don't care about the price tag. It's it's a lot. I don't care about the price I tag. I wonder what colors it comes in, though. You know, I thought you liked this color, though. I do like that color. It's not bad. This I do is, like the lighter nice gray, though. Too. Yeah. I mean. You could literally sleep in the baby's room. <laughs> Are you gonna see? <laughs> my mom said, my mom said maybe you should get the client the the um, glider sooner than later because Anthony's probably gonna want to sleep on it. I would absolutely sleep on this. I'm comfortable. Because like, he hasn't like... been able to sleep with this ar his arm. He's like, literally getting the worst sleep. Is it easy to get up? Yeah. Yeah, get in there. It's charcoal. I want to know what colors it comes in. It doesn't show, it doesn't say it. 
Take it in here. Hershey Swivel. Hey guys, welcome back. Today it is uh, Wednesday. Today I am 17 weeks. We have a doctor's appointment, so we're on our way there now. Uh, we like to get there early, and it's good because we have the appointment in the afternoon, and it's a little further away. So it's always a pain with traffic and stuff, but. Um, yeah, we're gonna be getting some lab work and I think just a checkup today and then in four weeks, um, well actually no, it'll be like three weeks because we had to push a week back because we we're on vacation. Um, in three weeks I'll be getting the anatomy which is like the most interesting, fun, uh, lengthy appointment where they do, um, I don't even know how long it is. I think it's like a three hour long appointment or something crazy, but that's at my 20 week appointment. So really excited about that. We'll see how everything goes. I'm hoping it'll be quick. I honestly don't think, I don't, I mean, I don't think, it we're, doing, be I don't think we're doing much. I think the we next just appointment's need to get, a long one. I think we just need to get lab work done. So last night I told Anthony that I could have swore that I felt a little, a little punch or kick. It was a different- Did you look it up to see when you could start feeling something? Yeah, now. Yeah. I mean, they do say now. I would, I think the earliest they say is maybe like 15, 16 weeks. Um, today I'm 17 weeks yeah, and possible. I felt like I was starting to kind of feel some things. Not all the time, but mainly at night when I'm laying down. Um, so I, I truly feel like I felt something. It was so, so weird. Uh, and very different than just like gas bubbles or like, because um, a lot of the times you can't distinguish between it being the baby or just um, gas or little, I don't know, other, other yeah, other stomach sensations, but um, but yeah, I'm feeling, feeling large today. I told Anthony that I actually really need to go get some maternity pants. Um, I feel like it's time. And I've been telling you this. No, I know because a lot of the leggings that I've been wearing are just getting really, really tight on my stomach and they're so uncomfortable. A lot of the high-waisted ones and even with me getting bigger sizes because I ended up getting mediums. I shared like Fabletics and stuff. Not the same. Yeah, it's just, it's still tight. So I'm probably going to have to get some um, maternity. You have to get the kangaroo pouch. <laughs> I'll probably have to get some maternity leggings, maybe like just a pair of jeans for right now. Just when I don't feel like wearing a dress or a skirt or something, because that's really what I've been living in recently. But when I want to, so pants are good though. Yeah, so pants are fine. Um, they've been comfortable, but you know I can't wear sweatpants every day. And look, I mean, like it's, getting, it's getting that time of the year. So. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll definitely be a little more comfortable in the fall and winter when I'm wearing cozier things. But I've just been living in dresses and um, skirts. Like today I'm wearing a skirt because it's just comfortable. But yeah, let me know if you guys recommend any um, maternity leggings or anything because I don't know of any brands. Um, I was actually looking on this one website that I was considering ordering from. But they have a bunch of stuff, not just like leggings. They have all maternity wear. I forget what it's called, but I think it's like Shop Pink Blush or I think that's what it's called. These hospital gowns, I think, that you can like match baby in. I might be thinking of the wrong website, me too? but I mean, if you want to, <laughs> should I get you? Well, uh, you're not matching, matching and I'm not matching. Should I get you matching pajamas? You can wear matching. I'm not going to be the reject. You're out of your mind. No, but, um, it's basically like a robe and then like whatever swaddle color like for the baby listen, but you can wear like matching pajamas listen if you're matching the baby i'm matching the baby he's already said to me that he plans to match every outfit also guys it's up here on the left I know. we do need to share with you guys a haul of a bunch of things that we've gotten we finally i feel like went shopping for the first time for baby because um we haven't you know 
for months we haven't gotten any clothes or anything like that because we wanted to figure out the gender first. Um, but now that we know, we went to Bye Bye Baby. We did get some things. We got some stuff at TJ Maxx. So I will show you guys that when we get home and kind of a, a few things that we have for the nursery. Um, we did explain a lot of that in the, in the last vlog. Um, so you guys can check that out. But we're here, so we're gonna get ready to go in. We are early, but it's good because then maybe we'll get all early. Okay, I'm gonna be. I was gonna go hold your hand, but <laughs> your arm is not available. <laughs> I'm out of breath. We are home now. We're home now, and we are about to put our bed um, together. But we still have the old one in our bedroom, so we're in the now baby's room right now just having the mattress kind of rest in here and they do say that it needs to sit out for a few hours but let it sit out and then uh put it in with the new bed and we'll show you guys the new bed frame and everything do you need help you have our puffy mattress we're actually doing a really great deal with them we're going to be giving away two mattresses two um, for a giveaway on our Instagram so you guys can check my Instagram I'll have the giveaway up over there but we're really excited this is our first king bed so I can't wait for us to see it and we got a new bed frame and everything This is just to roll it up. Let's throw it in a plastic bag. Oh, yeah. You can already hear it. Yeah. All right. So where do you want to cut? Right here. Maybe you just... Ready? Mm-hmm. Clearly it's not going to go in this room, yeah. but we're going to let it just hang in here until we can get our other bed taken apart and then the new bed put up, which we'll hopefully be able to all do tonight. Yep. We got friends coming over to help. Oh my God. It feels so nice. I can't wait. We have literally been sleeping horrible, like horrible. I can't believe he's doing all this with one arm. Well, actually you are using your other hand, but I think it's good, babe. You could just rip the rest. Just rip it off. I guess like it takes several hours for it to fully expand, but it feels so nice. I actually love the like cloud print. I think that's a really cute touch because their logo is a cloud. And this is really the front of yeah. it. This would be the end. Yeah. If there's a foot. Yeah. But it's supposed to be like sleeping on a cloud. Then take Maybe, a seat. You can't be sitting on this. It has Why? to expand. But it feels so good. <laughs> Knock it off. Move. You have to get up. <laughs> I want to test it out. You can't yet. I know, but I'm excited. Fine, I'll sit on the floor. The good thing is that we got a platform bed, so it doesn't need a box spring or anything. You literally just put it on top. It is much bigger. It's so much bigger. And I think the good thing about this too is like I'm not gonna feel you move throughout the night and you're not gonna like hear me. I'm like the lightest sleeper ever and I swear, if he even moves just a little bit, I can feel everything. Our mattress is crap. Like, I don't believe that a mattress can last for like 10, 10 years. years. We've had what, that mattress for six years? Seven since, years? Since, yeah. Probably like six years it's, and it's, it's done. We're, we're so due for an, a new mattress. Um, so I wanna show you guys some things that we picked up. I did share that elephant thing, which Anthony just put up because we already had a nail. I don't know if we'll put it there. We'll figure out where we're gonna put it, but it does look really cute there. 
the uh, elephants. I showed that in the um, one of the last vlogs when we were at Home Goods or when I was at Home Goods. But when I was at Home Goods or yeah, it was Home Goods. I picked up a few like cute little things that kind of gave me inspiration. One of which is this pillow. I just loved the look of this. And I love this like muted blue color. So I got this pillow and to go along with this one, I got just a gray striped. I figured like one of these can go in the crib, which of course it's just for like decorative purposes. I'm not gonna like sleep on it or anything. Um, and then one could go on our glider, like our rocking chair. And then I also picked up this really nice blanket that I figured we could kind of drape over the crib. This has really nice like gray um, threading through it. I don't know what you call that. And then again, kind of the same, kind of the same like look to this. I just love it. Got this cute little, I guess you would call it like a little lovey blanket. But of course it's an elephant and I love the color of this. Pick that up at TJ Maxx. I got that. And then we also got this, which I thought was so cute. And again, kind of the same like bluish color. This was from TJ Maxx. Um, I think I showed this. Um, I think I showed this. These were hanging up in Bye Bye Baby and these were like $50. We literally spent $10 on this at... Yeah, $9.99 at Home Goods. So yeah. check your Home Goods because they're so much cheaper there. But it's basically like a little like mat they can lay on tummy or time. do tummy time or something. So that's really cute. Tummy time. And then let's do this first. So we just picked out some clothes. These are the first clothes besides like the onesies that we have for our announcement, but I don't really count them. That was just for the announcement. <sighs> And I just got, a, honestly, just a bunch of different sizes, so I just thought these were really cute and super cheap. Like, this stuff is incredibly cheap. This is actually a three-piece little set. Um, comes with the long sleeve onesie, little sweatpants, and then a hat. And this was $6.99. That's a steal. And I don't even know what size. This is six to nine months. Honestly, we just were picking up random things. Anthony actually picked that out. Ain't no mama like the one I got. $7.99 for this one. This this is cute. This looks like it was it was from like Carter's or something. Little four piece onesie set. And I think these might be all the same, six to nine months. Of course, this would be for like summer and transitioning into fall. We have to think about that now, like how old the baby will be when we're picking out clothes. This is really cute. Just a little t-shirt with some animals, sweatpants. I believe this was, yeah, three to six months. And then this one was probably one of the bigger, this one looks huge, but it says it's six to nine. I just love the print on that one, the little clouds, the moon. Comes with a hat and 100% organic, $7.99. All of these were so cheap. I liked this set too. This was five piece set. How much? $9.99 for five onesies, and there's two, three to six, and then three to six to nine months. And actually, some of these will be perfect for the summertime. Best little brother. Um, and then some are just great for, you know, every day. I love the colors of these. This one's a really cute little jumper for the summertime. I loved it. I could just imagine him with some little sandals. <laughs> um, six to nine one for this. And this was two dollars. Are you find me something that matches? Are you kidding me? Two dollars? Yeah, Anthony has already said he's gonna match. Two dollars for this. I didn't even realize that. That's like incredible. This is actually a three piece set, comes with a hat. How much was that? Four dollars for this on clearance. This is nine months, and then again, yeah, the other one says the same thing. Yeah. Well, I found this one first, and then I saw the black and white one. 
but I think they were they might have been different sizes and then I love this one this was $12.99 so this is the most expensive but it's literally a six piece set comes with a bandana comes with a hat a short sleeve onesie and this is cute too new to the tribe comes with pants and then another kind of like long sleeve onesie little jumper and then let my adventure begin I thought this was adorable for like 13 bucks that was a steal. Why don't you show what you got from DJ Maxx? I ripped the tags off of these, so I don't remember how much these were, but I know that they were, weren't they $3? Or? I'm not sure. These had to have been like super, super cheap, but Anthony thought these were adorable. And it also reminds me you of know, something, these are the $3 Anthony. Ones. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We got those at Bye Bye Baby. Whoa. Um, but this reminds me of something that like Anthony would wear. These like little loafers. Hats were three dollars. He got all these hats, and Anthony's he wears hats like almost every day. I love him in a hat. So he said he wants to match our boy with these hats. So he got four. Are they all Nike? They're gonna be a bunch of. I'm gonna get a bunch of hats. Um, four little Nike hats, and I'm not sure what age this is. <laughs> it's probably like one size fits all, but it is. It just says infant. So he got a white one, black or gray, black and blue. And these were all $3 a piece. So he's gonna start a little hat collection. And then we ended up getting some things at Bye Bye Baby on clearance. And of course their outfits are a lot more expensive. So um, especially things that aren't on sale, but these things that were on sale, I think were pretty decent. So we did get some newborn things. We'll start with that. Um, and then Anthony did get his first Eagles hat at Bye Bye Baby too. It's a must. Which I'm sure he's gonna have a ton more yes, Eagle will. stuff. But so some of these things were on clearance. Actually I think this this one was on clearance for $14.99. I just loved these little like gown things, really easy for them to change. Are we going back there? What oh Bye -bye. maybe. Um, these are newborn. I love the print on this too. Well, it's not really a print. It just says dad, dad, mama, little buttons. And then this one's just like a regular a little elephants. I love that set. And then this is a little newborn, like cozy sleeper has clouds on it. This was $10, $9.99. This is uh, Carter's little onesie. I just loved the little animals on this. And this was newborn. This was $9.99. They have the little footies too. And these fold over the hands so they don't scratch themselves. And then the rest I think are three months. So I got this little cute onesie, just neutral with the sheep, little footies. This is $9.99. I loved this one with the little whales. Now this one's like a button down. This one is a button down and it has like the open feet. And this one was $7.49. And then the last one, which is one of my favorites, says little brother and this one's more of like that cozy uh, onesie. And this one was $9.99. So most of them were about 10 bucks. Um, and then we ended up finding super cheap little shoes that we just like could not pass up. So we did get these were $3. <laughs> They're like little loafer dress shoes, three bucks for those. And Anthony actually has like matching ones of these. So I thought that that was so cute. We got these really adorable little Nautica. I hope that this is focusing so you guys can like see what I'm doing. Oh my God, it's manual. There we go. Uh, these are like little nautical shoes. They look like Sperry's that Anthony has. These were $6, I think. And then these, and we got them in different sizes. So I think these were maybe like a size one or two. And then these might've been like a three or something. But again, these other little nautica shoes and these were $6 as well. And then I think these ones, which are like actual like walkable shoes. These are in size two. 
um, but these look like little Sperry's. They're not the Sperry brand, but these are so cute. And I think these were maybe $12. So they were more expensive. Oh, I forgot this. I got this little two set um, bandana bibs with the elephant on it, of course. And this was $2.99. Uh, $3. So I have some of his shoes in this basket right now. Until we figure out like more of our organization, I've kind of just put it in the back. I'm going to show you guys a few other things that we got. I did pick up this really cute little giraffe. It was actually in like the uh, clearance section. It was 50% off. I don't even remember how much he was, but I, but I loved him. My friend Nicole got us this little um, picture frame. And then another thing that I really, really liked was this dream catcher and we actually got this from tj maxx i found it there and it was 16.99 um again i love the like muted blues this yarn i thought this just like really went with kind of the theme we have going and also the gold accents because his dresser is actually going to have gold hardware um, so I just, I really, really like that. I don't know if it's going to go here. There was a little nail that was already on the wall. So I just figured I would hang it up just to see what it looked like. But I really, really like that a lot. Anthony was a little iffy about it, but I think now that it's hanging and now that we've like kind of seen it with the other stuff, what do you think? Is it like hideous or do you think it's cute? I think it's cute. I think it looks good with the other stuff that I got. Like when you see it with everything. And then also, Anthony did pick out some books that were really cheap. We're probably gonna actually give these two to my parents because they're so cute. Um, how to babysit a grandpa and how to babysit a grandma. These are adorable. Um, he just picked out some little ones. Actually, two of these we've already had. But he picked this one out. I love you always. He picked a Dr. Seuss, You Are My I Love You, just little ones. And then I did say that I got this um, from Home Goods, I believe. And this is cute too, because even if you take like pictures of them, like this changes, I think, to months and year. And, and then you can take your like milestone pictures with them, weekly, monthly pictures. I'm keeping this furniture piece in here just for extra storage. And I figured we could put some stuff out. So that's what I've been doing. I've kind of just been putting things in here for now. Actually, we will use probably these bookshelves. Probably put them up next to our glider on one of these walls. We're just trying to figure out how we want the room because we're going to have a dresser, our crib, of course, and then um, our glider chair with maybe just like a side table and like a read little reading nook, which it's gonna be hard to see because we have the, our bed in here right now. Once the crib comes in, we'll be able to like definitely see how the room will be set up. I kind of want to like set that up first and see what wall I like it on. I really had an idea of putting it in between the windows as like the focal point and then having the dresser on one side, the glider on the other, but I guess we'll kind of see how the furniture fits. But, um, we will definitely share all the furniture, what we plan on uh, doing with the space, but it's getting me really excited. I can't wait. Um, of course, we don't have like a ton of stuff right now, but slowly but surely, we're getting everything. Three weeks away till I'm 20 weeks, and it's the halfway point, so we're definitely getting a head start and doing things early, but it's exciting. It gets me happy and excited, and it's all fun. Also, so I can't wait to get the dresser too because then I'll actually have a space to store all of the clothes and everything. Um, not like we're going to be getting a ton of stuff right now. Like we still have our baby shower, which will most likely be in November. But at least we'd be able to store away clothes for the time being and they won't be laid out all over the place. But what do you guys think? I am like loving this right here like this really gave me inspiration especially because i thought it went so well with the elephant canvas i just love i love it we'll update you guys once we have the new bed in our room i'm gonna help anthony take this apart get rid of the old in with the new 
um, and I'll show you guys what our bed looks like. It literally just got delivered. We got a new comforter, we got new sheets, um, new pillows, so can't wait to show you guys all that. So this is the bed completely set up. It looks huge compared to what we had, but I absolutely love it. We've tested it out. All I can say is I cannot wait to sleep on this tonight. And I also really love our bed frame. We went with like a beige, just something neutral. And then it actually does have like gold little things right here, which I do want to incorporate like more gold. And I am washing our sheets right now. Comforters right here. Um, we have new pillows and then we have the duvet cover that I need to wash as well. But it looks so good. I love it.